Thank you for sharing your afternoon with us here on Kababayan LA. I am amazed. A lot of our Kababayans now getting into magic, and we got the three best with us this afternoon on the show. Rod, Justin, and Andre. Are there really, like, how many Filipinos are there that are doing magic? Uh, here in California, uh, there's only a handful, to be honest really? with you. Like, I, I personally, I think I know all of them. Right. Um, <laughs> and, uh, you're Mr. Congeniality. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I can count on my hand. Um, but in the Philippines, I know it's starting to um, to actually get popular. Right. Um, so, yeah, there's a lot of more um, Filipino magicians that are starting there. To, to, are um, there plans to shops. go maybe to the Philippines and do shows there? Uh, not anytime soon. Yeah, but if, we're calling on we producers. Do, yeah, it'll be these, good. <laughs> yeah, exactly, right? Yes, uh -huh. But then I was listening to you earlier. You have names for each of the tricks. And so when you talk to each other, you actually know what, what each other means. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Pretty yeah. much, yeah. And the tricks, the, the names of the tricks here are the same as, as the names of the tricks in the Philippines. If you did that there? Or? Yeah, yeah. Well, um, there's a whole market for uh, tricks that you can buy and sell. Uh, uh, so, um, and those are put out by other magicians that want to that develop material and make money selling tricks. So the magic, sh the magic shops in Vegas, they're legit. I mean, you yeah, know, it's yeah. not just yeah. They're just yeah. Uh, yeah. They're, they're marketed just... tricks, in other words. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh -huh. But there's like a lot of tricks that we do that we develop for ourselves, so uh, they're not really tricks you can buy off the market. Like so. Um, That's what makes you special, yeah, I suppose, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? Mm -hmm, right. Mm -hmm. So, um, what do you have for us? Oh, yeah, I have this uh, coin trick. It's a, a sleight of hand trick with four half dollars. Okay. You can see these. We're gonna try to make them jump from hand to hand. Right here. Here's one, two, three, four. Right there. Check it out. Watch. Look. We'll okay. Like four. This. Watch. Look. And actually, there's three and one. Wow. How'd you it's do that? Time. And I'm just right here. I can uh, see. <laughs> okay. And. Uh, we'll leave well, one behind here. We'll leave the other three right over here. One, two, and three. Watch carefully like this. Watch this. There's two. Oh, two. can I touch it? Uh, yeah, sure, sure. There's okay. Two, one, two, one, two, three, two, three, four. three, four. Can you make it appear? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll my hand I'll to your. I'll okay. Do that at the very end. Okay. So we have. Uh, I'm, I'm more advanced. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so one, Wait, two. Wait, Janelle. Um, All we'll, right. We'll leave two, two right here. Two and two right here. Two and uh -huh. two. Watch carefully like this. Watch carefully. Look, there's one and three. Wow. So and the last part, you're okay. Up. Hold your hand right here. Okay. One, two, three, four. You can see it on the camera. Yes. Let's stack them up. Close your hand up like this. Close my hand. Here we go. We'll put it up right here. If you can uh, raise it up the camera here. I don't know if you can see that. So Just slightly. Here we to go. To his hand. To, 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 to his, the, yeah, okay. I love Here we go. Watch carefully. Here we go. Ready? We're going to give it a little rub. Like so, like this. So make a rabbit appear from my hand, okay? Hello. Wow. Just, just open your hand. Show everybody what's inside your hand. Oh, there should there be one right there. There should be two. two. There should be three. three. And four. Well, where did it go? Wow. Your hand right there. How yeah. long did you practice? Okay, something like that. Uh, months. Months. Months, yeah. Right. Months. months. Okay. So, how, as, an, as a magician, as an illusionist, how often do you practice? Uh, Must you practice? We we practice every week, no matter what. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> we always. Right. It has to be. Uh, you should be able to know what you're doing. Right. Uh, you know, every step of the way, you can't be. Uh, what's the next step or anything? You right. have to be always polished and. Right. What you do. How so. about you, Andre? Since you're starting, mm -hmm. are you practicing more, like maybe two, three hours in a day, seven days um, a week? I try and practice every day, but just because it's it's more of a therapy to me. Uh -huh. So I just get cards in my hand and just go at it right. for maybe an hour a day. Yes, and, it, and I feel better. You feel better, yeah. and you connect with people more. Um, during my act, yeah, I try and talk to more people, and you know, always share my experience, my past experience. Right. And um, you can kind of really see the connection when I do start to perform. Right. And oh. earlier, I saw that we saw that a card trick from Andre, and here's another one for, uh, from him. Magicians. They never do the same trick twice. Okay. Never, ever, ever. Uh -huh. Alright, but who cares? I'm gonna do it. Okay. Sound good? Go ahead, pick anyone you want. Actually, we're gonna do it this way. Um, you remember the whole say stop thing? Yes. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna go through. Just tell me when to stop. Stop. Here, remember that card? Yes. For the camera, am I gonna see it? You sure you didn't see it? Probably. Okay. Alright, so what we're gonna do. Um, nothing fancy, just give me a favor, blow up a kiss into the deck once more. Alright, check this out. All the cards are red. Alright, step, fur, or hold on, step, fur. You know what the problem is? I only brought one blue card with me. What was the name of that second card you picked? Three of Spades. The three of Spades? How did you do that? 